It's Matt the Label Guy coming to you today. I wanted to give you some tips on how to measure your container uh, and some best practices for uh, getting the proper label size for your container. So a little container like this, uh, typically what you'll want to do is you'll see that the bottle has a shoulder on it. So you want to keep the label away from the shoulder, so down about an eighth of an inch from the top where the curve starts, and the same with on the bottom. Um, and then as far as the wraparound goes, uh, we'll call it the eighth inch rule. You sort of want to keep an eighth of an inch uh, so on the back side so the label is not overlapping and there's a small gap between uh, one end of the label and the other end. That really helps when you're using automated label applicators uh, so they don't get jammed or bunched up on top of each other. Uh, and then also you won't get flagging of the label, which flagging means the label wants to pop up off of the container. So when the label sticks to itself, in some cases, it will want to pop off and flag up and go back to its original lay flat shape. So um, that's, the, that's the best practice. So an eighth inch, eighth inch and on the wraparound leave an eighth inch of space so when you're measuring there's a couple ways you can do it i have my handy dandy uh, flexible tape measure here if you want one leave a comment and uh, i'll send you one uh, so on the wraparound i'm going to simply just wrap it around as close as i can and I've got my measurement there. The measurement on this is going to be uh, four and seven eighths on the wraparound. So I'm gonna take an eighth inch off of that so we leave that gap. And I'm gonna go four and six eighths on the wraparound. And that should be sufficient for the wraparound measurement. And on the top, I'll just do it for you so you can kind of get an idea of general best practice. You can see I start it below the curve and then I'll measure to right about there. So in this case, we're looking at about a two inch label, uh, top to bottom, so uh, the vertical measurement would be two inches. And um, one other way to do it is if you don't have a tape measure, you can get a piece of paper and you get your container and you can wrap it around your container because sometimes people only have a straight ruler and that's no good to get it around a curved bottle. So you can see here, I've got the overlap. I'm gonna go back about an eighth of an inch on this, make a mark, and then I know that when I make a measurement, I'm gonna measure from here, the edge of the paper, to the mark and that will be sufficient for my label wraparound. Anyways, I hope you enjoy this video. Feel free to leave a comment, ask a question, uh, or give me a call. My number is 720-504-6521. I really appreciate you watching. Have a great day.